Agriculture is the most important sector of Malawi's economy, engaging 8 out of 10 people, with the majority being smallholder farmers. Despite all the efforts that these smallholder farmers put in their work, there are a number of challenges that are limiting them to earn a better living from agriculture. Mbuyo mwose mdakati kufutika ifo jone na kuti kuno kwa nkusa, kuna libe ziweto zo kwa nina, zote zingati utipasa manyowa, wote akati handizire kuti alimia tu akolole zo shuruka. Futu latu nalaliku kwa mbini, fwaja antu hamene timapita waka gaisa mzigawe zao, kuna liku futu wate atijo sire sefa, nde kuna lingati kufuti lapo uti atigai sire. The coming in of the clean project, which stands for Club Livestock Integration and Marketing in Malawi, has brought hopes for a better future and created opportunities for many farmers to have access to market. In this project, we have engaged with stakeholders, farmers, buyers, um, extension services to explore the opportunities of enabling farmers access to markets. Very critical in this process is that we started with a blunt slate. We did not expect to push a certain technology, a certain market, a certain value chain, but we engaged with the stakeholders to understand where are the bottlenecks in the system. The stakeholder dialogue brought forward four value chains, chicken, goats, dairy and feed and fodder. Each value chain has its own challenge and responding to each challenge, the project introduced solutions which were worked out with the partners. Agri project anadi pusisa kuweda kuku, zimene anadi basa za maproira. Kuku zo dinaweda kwa kwa zima ite noka. Kuku zo zinadi za punziro, kutiti punzile, kutiko ni kuku zi. Kuno kwa zita kuchita abu ino kumalawi kuno, ndee dinaweda kuku zimene zo zinadi chitika abu ino kwa zima ite na amene itina lipofi. Amene ana gula kuku zimene zo zo, ama kwela ndi tu malawi kumane na kuti kwa makuku zija, simene ziku kumela. Kumbali ya mazira, njea ya kumasi ya nisa njituo aloko, mena makarida. Kwa mandita gwini sa nchilo manyo wa mene wawa, njina peza matumba 20. Mtawi pende nye. The chicken production always has been faced with the challenges of feed. Because they dependent upon the feed compounded from different companies. But now it, is, it, it proved to be unsustainable because it attracted a lot of cost. So the project supported them with the feed training to make sure that they make their own feed from the uh, dual purpose crops, hence the coming in of hammer mills. Agriculture has got multiple roles. First of all, at the household level, it contributes to food security and nutrition. It generates income for which farmers use to buy a more diverse diet than what they can produce on farm. It provides the, the funding to pay for education and human health and to build assets. So therefore, agriculture plays a critical role on farm, but it also plays significant roles in culture and in the rest of society. It integrates with the environment and has numerous positive and negative impacts on the environment. And we should therefore consider all of these multiple roles of agriculture when engaging in rural development or agricultural development projects. The Klim project really tried to increase the diversity of what farmers are producing on farm, not only to increase the width of the diets that they consume, but also the range of products that they can sell on, on market. So together in the interaction between all of these, not only increase food security, nutritional security, income growth, but it also manages risk. Livestock plays a critical role in, in these economies, uh, not only because livestock can make use of that section of the biomass that humans cannot, cannot consume. So they, they, livestock therefore has got the capacity to turn low, low quality biomass into high quality products, which contribute significantly to food security, nutrition and income. The demand for goat meat is increasing in urban and rural areas in Malawi. 
Despite their growing importance as source of nutritious meat and income, gold value chains remain poorly commercialized. When you look at the gold value chain, we know farmers keep a lot of goats, but they are not very organized in bringing these goats to the market. The farmer never talks to the buyer. So there is this huge gap between farmers having the goats and the market and the demand wanting to pay for quality goat meat in the urban sector. You find goats being aggregated by traders without much benefit by the farmer. The farmer doesn't even know who is eating his or her goats. So in this project we bring farmers and buyers together, we bring in infrastructure at the end of the value chain actually. We capacitate, we empower the butchers to understand what type of meat he can actually sell in, to the urban area. And by the butcher talking to the farmer, the farmer understands what type of goats they have to produce. And by investing in infrastructure, we believe we can aggregate more goats, bring more goats into the urban areas so that the farmer, when he wants to sell goats, makes a reasonable income. <laughs> Uh, this valuation development is like it has brought in uh, confidence among the smaller farmers. Initially, farmers were taken as price takers. In this case, the, the butchermen and other vendors were just uh, setting prices on behalf of the farmers. So the farmers were not, was not aware whether they were making profit or not. But now, the coming in of the project, it has empowered both the farmers and the off-takers. In this case, the butchermen and other, uh, other vendors. Like uh, now, the farmers and vendors have been promoted to be selling their produce at the they should weigh before still setting a price. Uh, the project has um, invested uh, in uh, cooling facilities for the for the butcher mill, which were identified as an entry point because uh, the immediate market or the first market for the farmers, most of the farmers sell their goods to the butcher mill. And we have to do the same thing as the butcher mill. We have to do the same thing as in terms of dairy farming here in Malawi, dairy farmers are in groups and we call them meat backing groups and they are in several districts in Malawi. But most of the meat is coming from the southern region, especially Cholo district. So with this project of Krimu, they are working there in Cholo district, especially Vumbwe, and they're working with the three milk bagging groups. If you go to the La Mombezan Kaka, I mean, it must be a Kanisa Kaka to Mawa Mozi, the Kumabulisa Kwa processor. Kumaso Tita Uza, Madame Dawla to Akutaya Kwan Kaka, Nibu if you have many at the Passa machine, I mean, you want to go to the one Bidi, or the business yard to eat her. Peter Pasoguru ndi kuenda bwino. Machine wo atandiza. Wambili so. Chifuwa jone na kuti. Yogi yo tikafuna kumwa kunoko. Tuma bita on town. Oloso ana ina kunoko yogi satani. Samo ziwa. Kumano ababa tizigula pompa. When you want to stimulate the growth of small holder uh, agriculture oriented businesses, you would want as, as government to have in place uh, uh, programs that incentivize uh, the, the production in this sector. And these must be, in my view, uh, in, must include a preferential procurement. This is where a government will decide that uh, for schools, hospitals, please buy local, buy close by, uh, so that uh, we are able then to stimulate some of the, uh, create the market for some of these small old agriculture. I will insist that uh, we need to make sure that those of us supporting uh, smallholder agriculture 
change our minds as well, that we have a mindset amongst ourselves. And as extension staff, as district uh, uh, staff, uh, I mean, political side of the district, and also as, 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 as heads in governments, we need to change our minds to make sure that we also orient ourselves towards uh, the market-oriented agriculture, then we will better support it. There's a lot of coaching required. There's a lot of capacity building required. There's a lot of letting people uh, uh, co-create knowledge and also co-create uh, solutions. Uh, a lot of it is not there. We, we seem to be very keen to quickly do things, uh, dump the solutions on people. But I would like to see a situation where we move towards co-creation. Let's believe that people can do things. The biggest sustainability comes from the passion that people have. If uh, the entry into, into, into some of these SMEs was premised on uh, donations or on the, what is available from the project, that will, uh, that will kill the, those kinds of businesses. But I see a number of businesses that uh, came into existence because people had passion, on the, or had passion on those, and we saw the passion and we followed the passion. So we have very few projects that will fail based on the attitudes of the people. So if they fail it to be in terms of what quality of support do they get moving forward? Every business requires support. 